Hey, hey everybody, how you doing out there? It's yours true. I just want to come on here and just, just give a shout out to everything out there, everything out there. We got to, uh, by the way, I want to tell you guys out there, if you're a Guns N' Roses fan, there's a box set coming out. Um, this is a, apparently a big deal for all you Guns N' Roses fans out there. Um, yeah, but listen, listen, I'm going to talk over this guy on this YouTube video. Um, I want to talk about this Guns N' Roses box set. Now, this is the... Uh, a second box set that's coming out um, from these are this is from the Use Your Illusion albums, the uh, remastered versions of the uh, albums. According to the, uh, this was on the Yahoo News and Slash made it. Um, you know, Slash the guitarist guy, um, he talked a little bit about it. Uh, there's a box set, it's a humongous box set. Uh, the concert that they did in '91 were at the Ritz. You people might have heard about where that venue is. Uh, it's in New York City somewhere. I don't know if it's still there this day and age. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, and the Ritz concert they did in, um, I think it was around May or June, uh, that they did a concert at the Ritz. And this time with Matt Storm. A lot of people don't know the drummer, uh, Matt Storm. He was from the Cult, the Cult group, you know, the Cult group thing. Rock band, the Cult. Um, he was with them for a while, for a little bit. Um uh, but he went, uh, now they got him as a drummer on the Usual Illusion albums. And uh, for quite a bit, for quite a bit, I, uh, for quite a bit. And uh, Matt Storm at that time was pretty good on the drums. He was pretty good. He was, uh, no question about it. But Steve Atler, if you people don't know, he was the original drummer uh, from uh, from the early days, from the early days of the Guns N' Roses. And that's, that's the history of the drummers out there. Uh, these are guys that are, they're like really tour guys, really drummers who want to do tours, uh, big uh, rock venues. And, um, and remember, Guns Roses, they have a lot of songs, so oh, keep that in mind, folks. Keep that in mind. A lot of songs to play, tons and tons and tons of songs. I'm surprised these drummers, uh, they don't take breaks. In those early days, people didn't take breaks, uh, you know, in the middle of drumming. Uh, it's really hard to take breaks in the middle of the songs. Uh, it's like one song after another and no pause. There's like record players, like usually with albums and CDs, there's usually a pause between songs. And, uh, no, uh, I was, oh, one more, one other thing people should, uh, should make a note of it. Uh, they did a song, uh, they did a concert in the Troubadour. This is the big venue at the Troubadour. It was somewhere in California. I forgot where that place is, but it's somewhere in California. Uh, I saw the title up the top of the screen. It was at the Troubadour. This was way back in 1986, folks, before Appetite Destruction even, was even out in, in the world. Uh, these were songs about, uh, these were songs they sang at that uh, concert venue at the Troub uh, Troubadour. Those were going to be on the future albums. Future albums. All those songs they sang, uh, sang there, even the future ones, um, uh, they were going to be on the albums. They were going to either be on the Appetite Destruction album or the Usual Illusion albums. Uh, uh, the Don't Cry, uh, Axel Rose did his ver his song called Don't Cry. You might have heard that song on the Usual Illusion album. That was, uh, uh, that was I think that was premiered at that venue. Uh, Don't Cry is like a slow song. It's a, like a rock out song. Yeah, it goes slowly and then it goes up really fast, like a, uh, the tempo is kind of thing. Yeah, and Don't Cry uh, basically is just, a, basically, I think it's a love song or something. Anyway, uh, that was their, I think, uh, one of these venues, one of these Guns N' Roses venues, uh, they premiered these new songs, these new songs they're going to try with live audiences. I kid you not, with live audiences. Uh, so they premiered the songs of what you're going to play. Uh, so these are the first time to hear them, basically. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, don't cry. I have a book on... Uh, I have a signature book. A signature book of the guy who was actually there. Uh, of all these venues. Uh, up to the uh, 1988 concert at the Giant Stadium. The Giant Stadium one. Um, that was in 88 when they did uh, the music video of uh, Paradise City. Uh, some... Uh, as they uh, say in the, in the world today, they say uh, some of the uh, concert footage was on the music video, uh, different uh, concert videos they went to. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So folks, 
uh, this is going to be the next box set uh, coming out this coming November, uh, according to the uh, Yahoo News. Uh, was a, it said right on the uh, Yahoo News that Guns Rose is coming out with a box set. There's another box set. Uh, the price range are a little steep for uh, for any kid out there. Uh, this is a box set with everything in it. Uh, apparently, it's some uh, some uh, some music that wasn't uh, be out there yet. And uh, what else? What else? Um, well, this is coming around November. Uh, they uh, they said everywhere on the social media sites around November 11th. That's November 11th. That's about a month and a half. Uh, if it was September, uh, if this week was uh, last week of September, it would be one uh, month and a half, basically, for the box sets. Right, be basically, right before Christmas, basically. Uh, so you, you're uh, if you if you're the people that didn't have uh, Use Your Illusion al uh, albums in the first go around uh, in '91, this is your big chance to have it. Uh, the whole entire it's kind of like the uh, the Holy Grail is like the, they like to call it the Holy Grail of appetite to uh, not uh, Use Your Illusion box sets. Both I'm assuming it's both. Uh, so one box with both albums. Uh, these are rebounds. You can get the vinyl version or the CD versions, and, uh, and re the, apparently they're remastered versions. They're remastered from those albums. This one guy on YouTube video was saying that um, that uh, you can actually get the uh, the vinyl records. So there you go, folks. There you go. Uh, you don't have to hear from me, but in November slash uh, mentioned in a uh, in an interview, apparently um, they didn't show it or put the audio on it. Uh, but Slash mentioned it just a bit, and uh, the concert that they have in it was the 91 concert at the Ritz um, that they did. Um, it was, uh, they, what they did, they put it in stereo. They put it in stereo, how you call it, in the, in the recording studios, uh, stereo sound. So they put stereo sound, not mono sounding. Uh, so the guitars would go on, on the left or the right side of the, of the volumes. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there you go, folks. Uh, stereo sound concerts. I would assume stereo. Sound, the previous concerts were a bit not stereo. They were not really stereo. They're kind of mono sounding, uh, and people didn't like it. Uh, um, so yeah, the one in '88. Um, there's apparently, uh, if you go look on Amazon, there's a one in, in the '88 concert. Uh, that they had at the Ritz. Uh, MTV, like I kid you not, MTV was there to film it all with their TV cameras. The entire uh, formats of Guns Rolls, the entire set list that they're going to have. Fish, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go, folks. Um, you don't have to hear from me. Just go check on social media. Type in Guns Roses. Go look for some Guns N' Roses postings. It'll tell you somewhere that they're going to have box sets coming out. Uh, not the appetite destruction one, but this will be the uh, usual illusion ones, uh, one and two. And uh, if you missed the first go around in '91, these are going to be the remastered ones, and you'll probably like them. Uh, they're not out yet; they're in November. Uh, so, uh, be it while we're at that, and uh, I'm wondering how many people are going to get this box set thing. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward. If you're, uh, if you're, a lot of people are asking me. Uh, I'm definitely going to get it. Um, not the vinyl versions of it, but the actual CDs, uh, the remastered CDs. And uh, it's, it's a lot of money. People are saying a lot of money to it. It's not like El Cheapo. Uh, so it's expensive. It's up in the $500 range, just so you know, folks. Uh, yeah, so if you're a really true Guns Roses fan... Um, the Guns N' Roses concerts, as of now, as of the year, as of this year, uh, they're day in day out concerts. You know, they're doing their same old, same old songs that they did back then. Uh, and uh, sometimes you'll get to hear new ones, new ones in those concerts, new songs that haven't been heard yet. And um, so there you go, folks. Um, I kid you not. Around November, that's uh, I would say halfway through November. Um, you'll, you'll, I'm assuming that it'll be on Amazon and all those social media sites you can get it on. And, um, so there you go, uh, guys. Uh, I'm not going to leave you high and dry, but let me just put it this way, folks. Uh, people are just chiming on this. 
But if you're a really true Guns Rules fan, you have to get it. You really do. Um, I think the, if you if you're in a record store in, uh, back in '91, you would never get a, a like a special edition album or a cassette or a CD. Uh, those were just the album versions. There was no bonus material. There was no you know the second album thing. Uh, there's none of that in those early days. When you went to record stores, you just got the LP, the one LP thing. And it came with bonus material, came with just the album versions. Uh, so, anyway, folks, but this time with box sets these, day, uh, these days, um, Reggie will come with bonus material. That's That bonus material comes with a whole bunch of other things. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go, folks. You get the remastered of the Usual Illusion albums, and you get a lot of bonus material I'm hearing, and a lot of picture stuff, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so there you go, folks. I won't leave you high and dry. I'm just going to get off here. I'm not going to say any more. I'm thrilled. I'm very much thrilled as a Guns Roses fan. Um, uh, the, uh, I did get the uh, Appetite Destruction box set, not the uh, Holy Grail one that they advertised. Uh, the one that's uh, lower than that. Uh, but I still get a special edition one. But yeah, it came with a whole bunch of stuff in there. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I, I was keep it pristine, as they say, pristine. Uh, I, I rarely use it very often, but uh, but yeah, yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. I don't know about you guys out there. I was, like YouTubers would like to say, uh, tell me in the comments what you think. Uh, and hit that like button. Shh, uh, oh, by the way, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want. This is an option for a lot of people. If you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's there if you want to subscribe to my channel. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, folks. Uh, so I'm not going to leave you high and dry. I'm just going to tell you the straight facts, straight goods. Uh, I just heard about it like, a few days ago about this box set. And uh, I was a little bit excited. I was definitely a little excited because, uh, um, and, uh, yeah, yeah. So if you're a true Guns Rolls fan, uh, the concert that, uh, actuals are having these days. I, I did check a few recent concerts that they did. Um, Slash looks like himself, I would say. And actuals, he looks quite different. His face gone through a lot of changes. I don't know about that. His hair's gone through a lot of changes. And uh, people said that his vocal range has got a lot of changes. And uh, so it's not the actuals we once knew back in the early 80s, early 80s of concerts. And, uh, yeah, that's what I want to say, but other than that, they're still doing, and the drummer's not the uh, ones you see in the early 80s, like uh, Steve, Steve Atler to uh, Matt Storm. He, uh, the drummer they have now, I don't know about the drummer they have now. And um, so there you go, folks. I'm going to leave you for now. I just gave you a whole intro lot about the box set coming up. This will be audio only, no visuals. And, um, so yeah, hang tight, everybody. If you're a Guns N' Roses 2 fan, this will be, uh, I don't know if kids have the Ford disc, but it's going up to the $500 range, this box set. So be well aware of that, folks. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Of my, this is my, uh, it's not my rant. It's just a, a recommendation, maybe a recommendation. Yeah. And uh, what else? I gotta tell you guys, uh, folks, that uh, you don't already know. Anyway, anyway, uh, I'm just here for you guys. This will be audio only. This is my podcast, I guess you can call it a podcast. A uh, little info, little information about uh, Guns N' Roses and what they're doing now. If you're asking me what they're doing now, I'd say Slash looks like similar like he did back then, almost similar. Uh, Axel Rose has gone through a lot of changes in terms of his hair, his head hair, to his face, basically. Yeah, he's not that guy back in the day where you'll say all the swear words out there, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, so like I said, um, he's not that young, uh, uh, the, uh, the younger axe rolls that he was back then, basically. Uh, and that's all I have to say. It's just, he's gone through a lot of changes, axe rolls. I've, a lot of people have uh, criticized him from his voice to his hairstyles to his, I don't know, everything, I don't know, everything. 
Uh, I don't like to criticize people. I really don't like to criticize people. I really don't. But a lot of people were trying to pick on Axl Rose, the singer of Guns Roses, uh, about his vocal ranges. His, uh, they were saying that his vocal range did change uh, years and years. And, uh, yeah, so there you go, folks. And uh, that's the only uh, problem that a lot of people have an issue with. Yeah. He's not that young Axl Rose you've come to believe in the early 80s and 90s. Um He's not that guy. He's kind of, he's kind of uh, mellowed out. Let's put it that way. Uh, he's not like he's not. Uh, young. You know, when, uh, when people do young, when you're in your young years, you can like to do a lot of things, right? So, yeah, people say those days are long gone. Yeah, when you're young, yeah, you do a lot of young stuff. Yeah, you say a lot of swear words. You say a lot of uh, nonsense stuff that you wish yeah, you didn't so say. Yeah. And remember, these concerts are captured on uh, either on TV cameras or. Yeah. So there you go, there you go, guys. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you guys now, and uh, I'm not gonna leave you high and dry. But remember, hit that like button. Here we go. I'm out. I'm out.